Mosaic presents San Africa, a West African and Latin fusion party featuring live performances, music and food from the diaspora. Admission seven to ten dollars. For more information, call four one five nine seven zero zero three six two. This community calendar is produced by members of the First Voice Media Apprenticeship Program. Send your listing at least three weeks in advance to KPFA Box 51, 1929, Martha Luther King Jr. Way in Berkeley, California, 94704. Fax them to 510-848-3812 or email us at calendar at kpfa.org. Tell us if your event is wheelchair accessible. To hear this calendar again, Call 510-848-6767, extension 621. This calendar is also online at kpfa.org. You're listening to KPFA, KPFB in Berkeley, KFCF in Fresno. On the web, kpfa.org. is 7 p.m. Up next, Full Circle. Welcome to Full Circle, your community radio magazine, produced by apprentices of First Voice Media. Tonight, we'll bring you a very special Full Circle live performance with two amazing women, Laura Inserra and T-Bird Love, an experimental and improvisational duet. Laura Inserra and T-Bird Love both are currently recording tracks, playing in shows, and much, much more that they will give us details later. We are your host, Maruka. And also Lee. Stay with us right here on Full Circle, KPFA 94.1 FM. And right now, let's go straight into their music, then we will meet these two amazing women.
Welcome back to Full Circle here on 94.1 FM KPFA. We are here live in the studio with an experimental duet and improvisational set from Laura Encerra and T-Bird Love. Laura Encerra is a vibrant and talented composer, multi-instrumentalist, teacher, performer, and artistic director. In 2007, she found Samabesha an international multidisciplinary performing arts organization based out of Berkeley, but performing all over the world. The music of T-Bird Love is all about taking risks and creating beauty all at the same time. She's known as one of the leading contemporary flautists. And we would like to welcome to both of you to our show, Full Circle, here on KPFA. And right now we are with these two amazing women. Could you please... Introduce yourself. I'm Laura, and we are very happy to be here tonight. And thanks for hosting us, actually. Yeah, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure, really. Laura, could you please tell us why you chose to play the Hong instrument and give us a little introduction to it? Mm. Yeah, the instrument that we were listening is uh, Hong. And uh, it's a new instrument made uh, by a couple in Switzerland. And um, the reason why I start to play it, it's pretty easy because, you know, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it's easy to fall in love and forget the other array of instrument that you play. Because of before, and even now, I play different other instruments. But, of course, right now, uh, he's almost in, in most of my compositions. Um, as I said, it's a new instrument made in 2000. So even though the sound is so amazing and unfortunately you can't see the shape on the radio, but you can Google it, uh, H-A-N-G, Hang, or on my website, laurencera.com, you can uh, see videos and so forth. But the shape also is so beautiful and uh, it looks ancient, but it also looks like a, a futuristic because, you know, it looks like a, a spaceship. It almost, you know, it takes, takes, it, it takes with you the sensation of um, floating in, in the universe. So uh, mainly for the beauty and the resonance and the possibility as a percussionist to have a combination of melody and percussion that is pretty rare to uh, find in a percussion instrument. And I mean, I can speak about the hang for hours. <laughs> it's also a metal instrument. It's the first uh, percussion instrument made in metal that we play with our hands. Usually, metal instruments, we play them uh, with mallets. Mm -hmm. And maybe later in the show, we have other metal instruments tonight that we will play them with, uh, I will play them with mallets. But the hanging said it's, uh, it, it wants to be played with hands. And so that's also another nice characteristic. Mm. Beautiful sound. Wonderful. Mm. And um, T-Bird Love, I have a question for you. Um, I'm curious, and tell us, why have you chosen to play the flute? Because I can see very clearly that you can play any instrument. But why the flute? I, I believe the flute kind of came to me. And I definitely feel that I was born to play it. it it's been an extension of myself over the years. Um, but literally how I started playing it, it, it all happened in fourth grade uh, when the band teacher came around and started introducing instruments to the students and originally I actually was going to play saxophone or drums not because I necessarily was drawn to them but because I had a crush on a boy <laughs> named Michael Shaheen and uh, who knows what he's doing now but uh, he was going to play those instruments and my best friend at the time Amy Howe said come on play the flute with us and I did <laughs> and once I, I picked it up, it was it. I mean, that's all it took. I never, my parents never had to tell me to practice. It just came naturally. And I'm I'm really glad that my friend at the time, you know, persuaded me to take up flute because I can't imagine not playing it. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, this question is for you, Laura. And um, could you please explain to us Samabecha? and how you both got connected, and how this happened. 
Okay, so um, when I moved to Berkeley in 2007, I decided since the beginning to create an organization somehow or like a container where different artists, musicians and different forms of art, they, they could kind of connect and express what for, for me it's art that is this one body expressing itself in all these different forms. Instead nowadays we have just the compartment of music or like the dance instead in my vision um, art and, and the artist is a person that really can every 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 gesture everything it, it will be transformed into a gesture of creativity so my idea was like let's create a place where art can recombine itself and have all these different artists and multi disciplinary um, artistic expressions and have this body again be a whole body in which you know people are immersed and so the main idea was also to create uh, performances with different expressions of art uh, sh uh, performing simultaneously um, and um, while I was doing that I was trying to build a community of artists here uh, I get uh, to know Tiber, then I was totally, you know, of course, because an, a musician, an artist, she's great, as you're listening and you will discover about her more uh, tonight. So, and when we met, I think it was so natural, you know, it was like a f love at first sight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we just, you know, start to play together and it was naturally the way in which we were uh, talking and, and sharing uh, with music and the instrument uh, our beliefs, our vision, our feelings, you know, because that's, that's music for us. Mm -hmm. It's just a way to speak uh, with uh, not the language or the body, but through instrument and sounds and vibrations. And so now Samavesha is a non-profit organization. And you can check more about it at samavesha.org. And uh, I've been building in these years. The full expression that we have finally is this uh, Art in Nature, the Nature of Art Festival. It is mm -hmm. coming up on October the 2nd at the Stream Trail of Redwood Regional Park in Auckland. And that is really what is the full expression of Samavesha, all these different forms of art coming together and having for the, that hours a full immersion into nature and art. Because nature as, as well as art is one body expressing itself in all these different forms, like f rivers and leaves and so forth. And so art is the same. It's this unique body that has all these forms. And what is interesting of this festival mainly is that the nature of art, the second part of the title, and that will be uh, expressed with artists working inside. So you can, you can just um, see also what it takes to make a piece of art. And I think it's the most interesting thing because it inspires people in be more creative, inspires new generations, and use uh, art forms as their own language. I invite you all to come. <laughs> art in Nature Festival.org is the website. Absolutely. Check it out. Okay, I'd like to ask you... And it's free. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> so that's no. all you need to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can believe it. And yeah. This music is free, but... <laughs> what is, I'd like to know what inspires you to perform more experimental forms of music with more experimental sounds. And um, maybe we I both can answer that. that. Yeah. Um, uh, well, um, sort of jumping off of uh, what Lauder was saying about art and nature... Um, what turned me on about it was the integration of nature into creativity, which is something I'm very much in alignment with. And what um, really inspired me to participate in, in art and nature and with Samavesha as a way of life. And as you can hear in our music, um, I feel the spirit of nature moves through us. And using the spirit of nature sort of taps into that part of ourselves that brings us back to that childlike self mm -hmm. that playtime and I feel that that's extremely valuable particularly in a world where we're so busy and consumed uh, by many different things and because the environment is on the front burner of a lot of concern I find that it's extremely valuable to integrate nature through our music uh, by 
for example, me stretching my instrument, the flute, and creating another kind of language with it and doing something else, going beyond what we think is the boundary of the flute and really pushing beyond that, Mm -hmm. taking risk. You know, like I said, my music is about taking risks and creating beauty, constantly evolving. And what I love about being an artist and working with other artists where it's more than just entertainment, it's a way of life, is that I feel that we drive cultural evolution and we reflect the feelings and the development of what's happening around us. We're able to feel the energy within the people. We're able to feel the messages of of the nature. Uh, at least myself and Laura can do that. And <laughs> some other musicians uh, and creative people that I know. And I feel that that's really important. Mm-hmm. Where we can inspire people to look at life differently and put themselves in a, in, in a position to want to be open to explore mm. and use that experimentation to discover more about themselves and to change things, to constantly change. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, Laura, you want to add a little more? Or? I can talk for another hour. I'm Italian. I love to talk. <laughs> he does. <laughs> But, you know, according to that, even, uh, let's say the truth, what what... What do we create here? We don't create nothing. Everything, as an artist, everything that we do, it's uh, a reflection of nature. Even in a painting or a sculpture, if you look around nature, you can find it. So as Tiber said, and I totally, I'm totally uh, resonate with her, you know, nature is where we, uh, where we get inspired, is where we get nourishment, is where we, we get life. So... Come on, <laughs> you know, I'm just awake. <laughs> can you can you please bring us to nature now with another song? Okay, beautiful. Why not? So why don't we uh, we'll start out like we're good, we were saying we're going to do some improvisation, and we're going to show you a little bit of some of the nature sounds we do, and maybe we'll take you through a couple of different places and let you decide where we go. Okay. Very good.
Tonight we are bringing you a very, very special live performance. Thanks, thanks. Uh, in what I just heard from them, I went to Chichen Itza, <laughs> then I went to the Middle East, uh -huh. and now we're back in the studios. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We can yes. be everywhere with the music. That's, That's right. nice. Yeah. You are listening to Full Circle here on 94.1 FM KPFA. I am Afale with Maruka. Can can you please talk about the influence you have with all this nature instrument? Where is this coming from? I'll start and um I feel uh, really blessed because um I've had a lot of really fantastic mentors in my life and opportunities. I started out as a classical flute player uh, for quite some years and that's all I wanted to do until after my first year of college at Carnegie Mellon University studying classical music. I met a phenomenal man named Michael Pestel in the newspaper who was selling an alto flute at the time and I went to his home to check out the flute and he answered the door playing the flute and I walked in his home and he had all of these amazing different kinds of flutes and prepared pianos and he said to me do you want to jam and I thought wow you know nobody really asked me that uh, at school so I said yes and he started taking me to the Pittsburgh aviary and we would go there on Sundays and he would literally say to me Tia I want you to you know imitate the sounds of birds and And that's exactly what I did. So I started to listen to birds and to the sounds around me, and I literally just ran with it. After that year, I ended up taking a year off and then splitting and moving out to L.A. to go to CalArts, where my entire world and my mind got blown open um, with world music, which also was inspired by Peter Gabriel's album Passion. I don't know if you guys remember that, but the first time I ever heard that album, it, it blew me out of the water, and it made me want to change my direction. That's how influential it was on my life, because I had never heard... Uh, music that had sounded like that before. So off I went to CalArts and I had the opportunity to be around some of the most incredible, talented, gifted, beautiful people um, from learning uh, gamelan music from Indonesia and West African music from Ghana and dance and uh, studying Persian music with a master musician and uh, music from Brazil including the experimentation uh, that I got to experience from playing, you know, all kinds of different uh, experimental music like George Crumb and, and, and such. And so I really got to play. I got to experiment with all kinds of different things. And I was really encouraged to to just go for it. So as a really good listener... I found that I, I've, I've, it's been easy for me to sort of assimilate in all these different kinds of cultures because I was immersed in them and I love them. So it comes through in my music. Beautiful. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, now I would like to hear a length of, uh, if it's possible, two songs together. Mm -hmm. yes. um, you can do your transition as you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe because um, it's nice also that uh, one of the strong... Uh, elements we bring with T-Bird, it's also our diversity. Absolutely. You know, I was listening her, speaking about this, my background instead is more, uh, I was listening to minimalistic music since I was a child, I was starting to play when I was a child and for me listening have been really an, an important element of my growth as a musician and uh, this is what we have in common but what's nice also the diversity the variety, so maybe we can do our two solos and going one inside the other one And so you can see and, he and hear more. Maybe you can see because our music is also very visual. Um, and enjoy the journey. Thank you.
Laura Encerra in T-Bird Love. We are so happy to have you very in the blessed. studios tonight. We are happy too because, yeah. you know, we love to connect with people. And so mm -hmm. we sure thanks for giving us this opportunity, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you. This is our mission in life, to mm -hmm. connect with, you know, mm -hmm. people and give them excellent emotions and Inspiration. Beauty. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can you play together? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we do that? I think we can do that. <laughs> please, please. please. <laughs>
dijo. It looks that we've been playing together so much, we've been rehearsing, you know, and instead, this evening before your, your invitation here in the, in the studio, can I say this, Tibor, Please, right? Okay. <laughs> so we said, okay, let's meet around 6.30 and so forth, so we can hang out a little bit, and, you know, it's a little bit of time, so we don't play together, and so we can at least, you know, speak with our instrument before we go <laughs> to the show. I said, okay, let's do it. And she came, and we had like a tea, and we started to speak <laughs> about life, and where we are, where, you know, what is the our next step, and, you know, the vision, <laughs> and so forth. And actually, we didn't have the chance at all to, to, <laughs> to use our instrument. And now it's so nice, because when we look at each other while we're playing, for us, it's like this immediately understanding, and it's the beauty of improvisation. Improvisation is really a tool, and it's a language. So instead of speak English, we speak music. Exactly. <laughs> it's like we literally open up. We literally open ourselves up, and we play off of each other. And I find that playing with Laura is so easy because she's so available. <laughs> you know? It's amazing. <laughs> I, I just see the body language that you yeah. have, and, and it's yeah. just it's contagious. It's you contagious, know? Yeah. 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 So it's beautiful. As Tiber said, this is for us our way our our life you know to just share with people and and transmit to them how it's natural as human beings to be creative this you know it's the only thing you can do is to be creative we do it every every day in different things and yeah the path that i've been following and the way in which i approach my my teachings uh, even though like i've been uh, starting as a as a musician that I was just teaching myself and I developed different uh, languages and at a certain point I started to have students and at a certain point I said to myself I need to have like a, a teacher so I start to study uh, classical percussion uh, in the conservatory and after that composing music and big orchestra in Italy I was working uh, with soundtrack for movies and uh, composing soundtrack for dance companies and and always um, even performing live on the stage because my instruments they are scenographically they are so beautiful so they always want me to to be there as well and for theater as well but um a certain point I thought, okay, when we write down a score, there is something they're missing. I never seen in nature repeating something twice, the same thing. So then I, I start to approach instead of music, and this is also thanks to the hang. So your, the beginning of your question, why I choose the hang, um, I start to felt like I want to start to compose structured improvisation, meaning that um, I have the structure of what I want to say, mm -hmm. but I want to leave space inside where I can be free and I don't want to be instead grabbed into this mechanism of being the same, so this rigidity. And that is when we, we, we speak about risks, you know, taking the risk sometimes that your composition at a certain point inspires you and you go in places that you've never been before. Mm -hmm. But this time there is the audience in front of you. So you have to be brave in, you know, holding and, and taking them somewhere and that's the beauty of it my audience is feeling the emotion they never get tired because i don't repeat twice the same compositions that so they mm -hmm. come always to my concerts because it's always new <laughs> I know. Yes. yeah so we have someone here in the audience i know you have a question because you i can see you <laughs> <laughs> enjoyment do you have a question could you ask them in your organization is there any space for people to come in and learn and interact uh, oh no, yeah that's the that, i want to see where you are I yeah. Be down. I want to yeah. take this journey with this you. This is That's exactly what, like. what uh, Samavesha is doing right now. And if you visit our website, samavesha.org, S-A-M-A-V-E-S-H-A.org, you can see there is a part in which you say, like, get involved. There's different ways. We, we do programs for schools, for kids, for adults, for workshops, and so forth. And the idea of Samavesha is to connect the audience or who is inspired to learn with all these other musicians. So if you're inspired in playing flute, you just contact us and we can suggest you to study with T-Bird. And if you want to play percussions, maybe you can suggest to study with me or with Evan Fraser or with other musicians, great musicians, Bay Area available. Thank and again, you. Art in Nature Festival, 
Uh, is an yes, opportunity. Can, can you yeah, elaborate yeah. a little more yeah. with, with that festival? Yeah, the festival again is really a good place where to meet more and most of these artists. Of course, like uh, all of us, we are professional, so not all all of us will be there. But you know, there is a beautiful and very high quality artists there available for you to explore and contact and, and, and even like uh, uh, play with them or just painting with them because that is my main vision for this festival is to not only have the painter there and you just walk by and say oh this is cool instead you see also the paint the painter painting is on new world so you're inspired you can connect with him there are musicians like myself doing open improvisations in which while we play i tell people what is happening what is the language that i'm using what is what what, what you know when i play a little bit more and tibet plays a little bit less that means that i'm waiting for her I'm, you know she's giving me space and when i finish i'm a little bit more in the back and she feels the right space too mm -hmm. you know all these in languages that we have great um and i i know that you both are in projects yeah you own projects yeah. individually individually um can you tell us about those projects and how we can hear you where we can see you mm -hmm. and all of this yes uh in terms of sort of being a creative catalyst for those of you out there who are curious about Um, really tapping more into your creativity. I teach these really incredible play shops that really embrace that part of ourselves uh, that wants to come out. And we use a lot of vocalization and uh, body movement and um, improvisation. I work with a lot of people who some of them feel like they're sort of inner closet singers. I meet a lot of people all the time who, are, who say to me, gosh, I, I've always wanted to sing and I wish I could, but I never did or I don't have the time to do it or I'm not as good at it. And, and meanwhile, that's just not true or they believe that they just don't have the talent where we're all born with creativity and playing music like we do in a way of being open can be taught. And so I particularly like using the voice because it's so vulnerable. And it's a way that you can just be yourself and empower yourself by being vulnerable, working with other people, sort of um, some of the inspirations, of course, like Bobby McFerrin and Zap Mama and using Takatina and, and um, uh, different kinds of tools that I combine together and create my own style for people who really want to go in and turn their creativity into a way of life and you can connect with me uh, via t-bird love and love is spelled l-u-v so t-bird love music dot com and um, some of the other projects that i'm involved in right now is i'm, I'm just finishing up an album that i'm super proud of a singer songwriter album called fire ghost and thieves and that will be coming out in the fall i'm super psyched about sharing these stories about memories and stories about womanhood and uh, empowerment and creativity so i'm really psyched about that i also work with a lot of different dancers i love working with um sort of the visual arts uh, because it's it's fun for me to interpret the emotion of the dance or of the sculptor I work with a really phenomenal sculptor named Bar Shakhtarman and uh, interpret their story through music so I'm constantly working with dancers um, theater people and uh, you can just contact me for, for those different kinds of things wonderful mm -hmm. okay and you Laura? Recently, I'm also like, collaborating a lot with the Italian Culture Institute. I would like to invite everybody to the workshop that I'm going to have at the Italian Culture Institute on uh, September 9th and September 16th, two Fridays, uh, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, the workshop is about the history and development of percussion instruments. Um, it's a really, really nice uh, and, and interesting uh, workshop that speaks about uh, all the history of percussion from the ancient one to the modern one. So the hang, it's one of the contemporary uh, percussion we have right now. And it's open to everybody. And I will follow uh, the Friday after that on September 23rd with a solo concert at the Italian Culture Institute at 7 p.m. And uh, also I love to bring my music and creativity to people house. So 
I'm I'm having different house concepts, and so if you're interested also in in, in have a, uh, in in offer a special gift to your beloved one, you are welcome to contact me, and I I do concerts for uh, house concerts or concerts for special dates, and you can contact me at info com info at laurensera.com or even the samavesha.org is a good place for our calendar and our show coming up I think it's a beautiful and new way, <laughs> new gift we can give to people we love Let's take us to the last song Yeah, uh, absolutely All right. I would like to also like play with Tiber if, if it's the last, may we play another piece together? Absolutely, okay. both of you Yes. Yeah. What we can present now? We have this another instrument. This is an instrument, um, Hokema, is a kind of kalimba that has a animal skin on top of it and a beautiful case that can uh, resonate and, and do some glissando. for being with us here Thanks. in Full Circle. It's a, it's a gift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we hope to see you in our performances. <laughs> you sure will. <laughs> yeah. Tune in next week to Full Circle at 7 p.m. on KPFA. Our website is kpfaapprentice.org. You can also check out our archive shows from the past two weeks at kpfa.org slash full circle. Our executive producer is Miss M. Our technical director is Free Will and Franklin. Our intro music is produced by Source of Labor, and our outro music is produced by B. Tondra. If you have any questions or topics for future shows, give us a call at 
848-6767, extension 627, or send an email to firstvoice at kpfa.org. Like us on Facebook by searching for First Voice Media, and we're also on Twitter at First Voice Media. And thank you to our engineers, Free Willing Franklin and Miss M. We have been your host, Maruka. And Afle. Thank you for joining us tonight in Full Circle. Stay tuned for La Onda Bajita. Next up to bat are faithful listeners. Together, we're going to take another swing at our goal. You have another chance to help us hit a home run right out the ballpark and get a winning score and reach our $300,000 goal. Make a dash to your computer.